Friday afternoon at Yummy in Caracas, the headquarters of this fast-growing app which hopes to become the Uber or Deliveroo of Latin America. Already in 12 cities across Venezuela, you can order a yummy delivery or hail a yummy ride. The company provides work to around 5,000 people. The surprising thing is all this is happening in a country in deep recession. Yet Yummy's young founders, all are under 30, have managed to raise $22 million of investment, mainly from US-based venture capitalists. How did they do it? The co-founder and chief executive admits Venezuela was not an easy sell. When you think about all the, all the things that in Venezuela are not done yet, um, there's, a, there, there's a huge potential there for investors, but they will still think about the risk to invest in Venezuela. It was one of the biggest alerts for, for those investors um, based on the history that the country has. And, you know, the, the, how we kind of uh, convinced them was to, you know, get things done. Yummy told us that some things in Venezuela are an advantage. One is a lack of competition. The big names, like Uber, are not here. And there's no shortage of potential employees keen to earn a few dollars an hour in a country where state salaries are extremely low. The company's now planning to set up in Chile and Peru, but its customer support will remain in Venezuela. Yummy has decided that is cheaper and a more efficient use of its workforce. Even though talent has left, because that's a reality, I think talent has stayed as well. And people today are believing more that they can actually prosper in the country. Venezuela has all sorts of challenges, but there are some who are convinced there's opportunity here. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN. Caracas.